Awesome, folks. Well done for getting through to day seven. So this is the last day of the seven day product challenge. Um, I can't wait to see what results you're going to get after the back of this because I hope that it's been really, really va um, valuable to you. Obviously, we've been talking around the product architecture model, but also a little bit around automation and how we can go about moving our clients through this process um, in, a, in a fairly automated fashion so as to save ourselves as much time as we possibly can. So. You can see that the final step in the process is now we've gone through the, the, the delivery side of it. So remember on day one, I'm, I talked about three core pillars of our business. So marketing, sales and delivery. So we've gone through the delivery process. The final step in the process then is to start collecting case studies, testimonials, reviews and all sorts of things like that from the clients who we've worked with. And I've just realised there's another step. So we could do a breakthrough session. We could even do consultation. The reason why these um, case studies, reviews, testimonies are so powerful is it, it means that um, it just raises our level of trust with potential new prospects so that they come straight into the consultation process without having to go through your marketing funnel which kind of sits over here behind me. So what we want to try and do is um, rather than starting at 70 10 2, we start at 10 2. So we book people straight into the consultation process based on our reputation. Now. One of the beauty, beautiful things about this is how do we go about doing that? So the first thing is we ask people for, to help us out with case studies, but we also invite them to do testimonials and reviews on things like Google+. Uh, Facebook allows um, people to leave reviews in there and use tools like Free Index. Now, one of the things which I do is when clients have been through my consultation process, so remembering that when they've started this funnel, their details are already going into MailChimp. And after the consultation, I just have to go and tick a, a single... Uh, tick box in MailChimp for that person and it pings out an email automatically that says thanks so much for coming to a consultation hope you found it useful if you want to know more go and join my Facebook group um, but I really appreciate it based on our chat whether you might be able to leave a review for me and then I've got buttons in there three buttons for Google Facebook and free index and that just starts to automate the process of collecting reviews and testimonials which are the thing which ultimately build up trust with cold prospects um, I'm also working with Deborah as well in terms of getting three case studies drawn up around my clients because um, these really carry an awful lot of weight from a marketing perspective. Um, and what you'll also notice is that I've added in some, some sort of guiding arrows that we actually take people through this entire process. They go to ca the case studies um, and then those case studies then lead back to the assessment quiz process or right back around to our sales and marketing funnel. So hopefully you can see that's the full product architecture model. Um, I want you to start thinking about whether you're collecting reviews um, or testimonials or case studies um, against your clients. Maybe write down a list of half a dozen clients who would be willing to, to, um, to leave you a, a case study, a review or testimonial. Um, and yeah, that's, that's day seven of uh, the seven day product challenge with a little bit of automation kind of thrown in there as well. I've given you a few tools and tips. Um, don't forget to download the worksheet and complete that. Um, and then also feedback into the group. Um, I will, of course, as usual, be doing a, a, a webinar Q&A just to follow up from the seven day challenge to answer any questions that you might have.